good morning guys so it's the weekend at last it's been a long week at work and uh, i was really looking forward to maybe getting away this weekend do some landscape photography unfortunately the weather's been pretty poor the past few days heavy rain here in the west midlands and i have other commitments this weekend which means i can't travel too far so i was looking in the local news see what's happening around the area maybe i could do a different type of photography or something and uh yeah, the Flying Scotsman, you know, the steam locomotive, apparently is coming to Worcester. Um, I've got two locations in mind. Um, the first location, um, I'm going to try and do more of a landscape scene. Um, and then the second location, I'm going to be probably on a bridge with the, the train coming straight towards me. And um, and let's see what we, how it goes. Yeah. So, yeah, come along. So, Worcestershire is very fortunate this weekend to have uh, the Flying Scotsman coming through. Um, so it's going to come up uh, from Cheltenham Way up to Worcester Shrub Hill. The train is then due to depart Worcester Shrub Hill back towards London Paddington. And on its return journey, it's actually going to go through uh, my hometown of Pershaw, then through to Eversham. So there's potential here for two shots, um, both on the outbound and inbound journey. Um, so hopefully I'm going to capture something today, uh, but we shall see. So anyway, uh, this is where I'm currently set up. So you'll see behind me, and hopefully in the distance there, you should be able to see the train line coming down. So all I do now is just pretty much wait. Um, I've pre-focused exactly where I think the train's gonna pass through. Um, I've given myself enough space in the, in the vertical um, to capture any of the steam and smoke rising from the train itself. And um, as it passes through my frame, I'll take uh, several rapid shots. So now it's just a case of waiting, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I managed to capture the train passing through and the Flying Scotsman. Um, it was going a little bit slower than I was expecting, so I had to make a quick adjustment to my settings. Um, what's quite obvious though is uh, my position here, the speed of the train and the size of it from this vantage point. Um, I underestimated actually uh, how relatively small it was in comparison to what I was actually expecting. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, with that in mind, I think for my next shot um, I'm going to probably put on a longer focal length, uh, maybe uh, a 60 to 250 mil to zoom right in, um, as I was only using a 28 to 105 at 105, and it just simply wasn't enough. So lesson learned, I'm gonna move on. For me, my first image of the Flying Scotsman on its way to Worcester didn't quite work out. My choice of focal length was too short, and I was positioned too far away from the rail line. A second opportunity would present itself later that afternoon, as a train on its return journey would pass through the village of Flavbury near Eversham on its way to London Paddington. Having found a position in a field close to the tracks, I set up ready to take my second shot and my final chance of photographing this iconic locomotive. So this is how I've got it set up. Um, I'm a few hundred feet up from the, the level crossing and um, which is just behind me. And if I, you can see behind me here, here's my setup, my camera looking down the line and um, hopefully the, the Scotsman will come this way and uh, I should catch it on, on video as well as with some stills. Okay guys, so I'm ready for the Flying Scotsman to come through now. I've um, got my settings all set up for this. Um, I've got my shutter speed at uh, 800 of a second. Um, ISO 200, uh, f-stop at 7.1. Um, I'm focusing pretty much into the, the, the area I expect the train to come through and so I'm pre-focused on that. Um, I've put into continuous burst mode and continuous um, autofocus.
So guys, thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, my little adventure trying to photograph the Flying Scotsman as it passed through Worcestershire. I hope you've enjoyed some of the images I produced and a little bit of video. And uh, if you'd like to comment and subscribe, that would be really cool. And uh, I try to reply to everybody it does. So until next time guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, take care.